Hello guys, El Bandito here and uh, I'm going to show you yet another one of my multiplayer battles. My opponent's name is Thomas Savell. I guess he too thought I was a Spanish guy uh, based on my nickname. Oh well, that happens, it's good to be popular I suppose. I chose the Aicinai, Aicinai, that's how it's supposed to be spelled I suppose. I checked Wikipedia, you know, so I know. Anyway, the reason I chose them is because the enemy chose the Romans. And if I know one thing about the Romans is that they're armored, heavily armored. And how to beat the heavily armored guys? Well, with armor piercing ranged units such as the Briton Slingers. They have 21 attack damage, which is just insane. This map's name is Octodurom, and it's a nice mix of open ground as well as forests. And uh, this should be. A fun match where people can make a lot of strategic plays using the cover of the forests. I must say that I believe Romans are pretty overpowered in, in general and I might have a hard fight at hand. But I have a lot of uh, ranged units by Britain Slingers as well as a unit of uh, javelin throwers so I should be able to whittle down the enemy before the real me uh, main fight starts. Aside from four units of uh, Britain slingers and the unit of javelin man I also got uh, four units of uh, heroic riders and hero four units of heroic nobles and supplemented by four units of chosen spear band. They're all top quality units of their type. So, theoretically, they should be able to stand toe to toe with their Roman equivalent, at least for a while. Okay. I have uh, immediate cover to be accessed on my right flank, so I might use that to place a few ambush units. Okay, there we go, and as for the center, I will place my skirmishers in the front, pretty standard deployment. I will back them up uh, with, uh... wait, let me just group them for uh, ease of use. I never played the... Uh, what do you call Barbarian Faction in campaign and I believe I played the Aicinai only once in multiplayer battle. And well it was also against Romans I believe. Still I'm very uh, inexperienced when it comes to using Barbarian units. So uh, let's see how it goes guys. Okay. I had made my deployment and let's see what the enemy has. Syrian archers, Praetorian guard, oh these are tough nuts to crack, followed by legionary cohorts and triari, wow, now that's very infantry heavy army. Um, <laughs> My uh, general, Britain general, is making some insulting remarks about the Romans. I'm sure they have uh, no love for the Romans. Okay. So, uh, since I have uh, superior, uh, uh, well, ranged units, I will uh, make the first move. Now the forces are uh, somewhat equal, but I believe if it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, uh, my opponent Thomas Savell will definitely have 
an advantage because while well, Roman infantry is just oh he said good luck have fun he has good manners because uh, Roman infantry is just broken game breakingly overpowered uh, it's those damn uh, what do you call the pillar they throw before their charge that makes them just so strong anyway uh, to have a chance of winning I need to somehow utilize my ambush forces right here and to use them to attack their flanks or better yet their rear however I need to make some elaborate maneuvers to convince my enemy to expose his flank or rear hmm. the game is lagging a bit guys I apologize for that but I do not know if I play against certain people like the ones I showed you before uh, then the lag is fine but some people such as this guy Thomas just makes the game lag a lot I know it's not because of me because well if it was me then all of my games would lag see well anyway I have to keep I chose to keep half of my uh, chosen um, spear band nearby just because I thought uh, the enemy will use cavalry to charge my skirmishers but no it, the Romans are as uh, you guys can see uh, very infantry heavy so I have no need to be scared of any cavalry charges which is good I always feel very comfortable when engaging against heavy infantry army due to their nature dismounted nature they are very easy to uh, what do you call outmaneuver of, of course conversely uh, cavalry heavy army makes me a lot more nervous because uh, in uh, such army can make a lot of different kind of maneuvers in a blink of an eye and I have real chance of losing like uh, in a very short amount of time and uh, I had a uh, little bit spare cash left so I upgraded one of my uh, Briton slingers shouldn't make that much of a difference though in uh, Rome 2 as well as the previous titles Shogun Empire etc upgrading your units is not really worth the money unless you're playing on very large amount of funds now back in Rome Total War the original one you could make pretty damn overpowered units when you upgrade them I remember uh, uh, playing uh, uh, well I remember uh, upgrading uh, Greek cavalry they, those Greek cavalry were just very mediocre cavalry units but I, after I upgraded their attack, armor and uh, experience points they could stand toe to toe with cataphracts while costing the same including the upgrade so that was insane that was something to be exploited and I exploited it ruthlessly too bad my opponents were only AI I didn't have enough a uh, good network connection or good computer back then so oh anyway uh, the enemy's uh, Syrian archers had made contact and uh, is trading fire with my javelin man but, uh, and uh, slingers but due to the nature of my superior numbers I should be able to rout them easily even though the Syrian archers are armored all of my uh, ranged units have armor piercing capability so However, my units that are taking fire are having their morale reduced by their fire arrows. But it's fine. Even if slingers as well as jellymen do not have fire arrows, 
I do not even have to rough the enemy. I only have to kill them all. So, morale reduction means nothing to me. Okay, one of the Syrian archers had already um, where go? retreated. So I'll uh, focus on my fire power on, on the rest of the archers. Perhaps it's a. Uh, Perhaps I'm a bit over cautious, but I I think the enemy might be hiding some additional units in the woods, which I cannot see. Maybe right behind and a little bit to the left, the enemy is hiding a cavalry unit or two. Highly unlikely, judging from the amount of infantry and the quality it, uh, of the infantry, but you'll never know. This is the fun thing about uh, forest maps. It's just nothing. You can you can't just expect what you what you see in front of you. Now you can't just think, oh, that's all he has. No, anyone worth any general worth his salt will take advantage of the terrain. Okay, so the Syrian archers, his Syrian archers, had retreated. In front of his main army, hoping to... I don't know, <laughs> hoping to escape from my javelin man. But I will let my javelin man and the uh, slingers to chase them. Even if the enemy um, infantry break formation and chase after my uh, slingers, they could never hope to catch them. Okay. My two units of heroic raiders and two units of chosen spear band had managed to sneak closer and closer into the enemy side of the woods. So far they haven't been discovered. Which is really good. Okay. Here comes the tricky part. Now look at this, this block of infantry, there is no way I can hope to take them head on, to break them. I need to focus their attention somewhere else while I attack them from the back or uh, the flanks. So to do that I need to have a little bit of strategy. Okay, my javelin man had run out of uh, ammunition, so I'll let him move away for now. Or better yet, let him take some fire. Now, here is what I have decided. I'm going to move towards the left. Therefore, hopefully the enemy in their... Uh, well, uh... In their effort not to expose its right flank, it will mirror my movement and uh, face towards my main army, which will expose their rear to my ambushing unit, my hidden units. Okay, slow and steady, because I do not wish to tire out my main force yet. Okay. Okay, you guys come over here. Come on guys, don't just don't run, don't run. I want you guys to stay fresh in the upcoming battle. It's gonna be a big slaughter. The enemy in response to my uh, ranged attacks have placed their units in Testudo formation, which is good. Which is good because uh, they uh, completely are unaware of my hidden units, and besides, having them in this the formation for long will tire out his infantry. If I'm wrong, you guys let me know. Okay. Aha! The enemy is making some movements. What is he going to do? Okay, good, good. It seems like it seems like the enemy is following my movement. I only have six units of 
heavy infantry to receive their attack while the enemy has 11 heavy units all of them are of high quality okay they're attacking me i ha i'm not yet quite yet in position so i have to buy some time Okay, good, good, good. Keep facing towards me. If possible, I want all of them to attack me. I do not want them to split their forces because if they split their forces, they might be able to parry my uh, rear attack. So I hope the enemy will send all of his forces towards me. Okay, you guys uh, split up. Shoot the enemy from the sides once they uh, clash with mine. You guys retreat. Give some space. Oh, don't get caught. Be careful. Oh, no, 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 no. Get over there. Get back, get back. All right, good. It seems like almost all of the enemies are coming after me. The enemy general must be confident because <laughs> I b I'm sure he believes that he will crush me by weight alone. Alright. Alright. Here comes the moment of truth, guys. Will my guys break before... Break before the enemy? Or not yet? Alright. Alright. Hope he, hopefully he doesn't see me and is uh, totally uh, absorbed in the front. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You guys, shoot. Alright. I'll let my general and another heroic riders to focus on the enemy general. The, if Romans have one weakness, it's their uh, the, that their general's unit really sucks. So one on one against any other uh, faction's general unit, Roman general always loses. So, whoa, whoa those are Tiari. They're bad news to my cavalry. Get out of there! There, he's trying to intercept. Not that easy, my friend. Alright. Now, we should try to embrace the frontal attack as tight as possible. That way the enemy won't have time to engage, uh, turn back and engage my uh, uh, rear attackers. It's a very good thing that uh, patch 104 had reduced uh, infantry melee attacks and increased the melee defense skill because that means the fights will go on for longer period of time and which also means my units won't rough too much. Like if this was the original like vanilla patch then my uh, units probably rafted already due to sheer Roman infantry numbers but nah. Okay. Okay. If things are going a bit slow, that's because of the lag, guys. Aha! So the enemy had broken off a few units. They have seen my uh, rear attack. So uh, the Praetor he's uh, splitting off some of his Praetorian guards. I hope this charge will go well! There you go. Let's see. Anything else? Oh yeah, a couple of uh, chosen spear band. Since they're infantry, they they'll it'll take some time for them to reach here. Uh, all right. The enemy general unit has routed, so I'm going to uh, use the rest of my freed up cavalry to attack the enemy f from the flanks. Good, good, good. My units are holding. They're not dying that much. Oh, headhunt. What is this? Melee attack morale? Huh. Alright, sure. Frenzy. 
Well, I don't know what that is, but I'm turning it on. I can't believe I didn't do that. Bracing. All right. Nice. That was very good. The enemy was trying to form up and I smashed, smashed them to pieces. Mm -hmm. Okay. So far things are going into my favor. Frenzy charge. Ah, I should have act activated it. See, this is the thing. It's my, it's my inexperience with multiplayer battles showing. I didn't know the barbarians had such, uh, what do you call, abilities. Alright, you guys go. Oh no, go here, actually. But on my right, my units, like... Only three units of infantry are taking on four units of uh, enemy infantry, but they're holding well. That's good. The Triari are coming, so I better get my cavalry out of that fight. And I'll uh, exchange them with my chosen warband. Come on, my cavalry, get out of there. Cavalries are also buffed a little bit in this patch because due to uh, the melee def attack of infantry being lowered, now cavalry can uh, uh, disengage uh, better with uh, less casualties. Alright, attack those Romans from the rear. Good, good. I never like facing spearmen with my cavalry, so they're like pox to my cavalry. If I can, I'll just disengage. Well, no need to shoot now, I'll just let my uh, slingers go into melee mode. All right. It seems like the rear attack worked really well. Whew. I'm glad that paid off. And I hope you guys enjoyed this match. I will be also posting uh, four more matches from, well, three more matches from my Saturday night killing sprees. Look forward to it, guys.